whatever. Something's happening there. It's just not showing up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, my goal, my objective today is to get through the lesson, which is fairly short, uh, go over the test a little bit, and uh, 73 and 74 will definitely be due today, regardless of how many questions I get through. Uh, 75 we didn't really get to, so here we go. Uh, in order to anti-differentiate an odd power of trig, like sine t, <coughs> and the other two see there, you will need an identity for two. What is the identity for sin identity for sine squared? Thank you. Okay, and the identity for cosine squared is and minus sine squared. This class is a little high. I'll attribute it to the number. All right, so sine cube. Now here's the problem. Um, one student might say, well, shoot, just power rule that baby up and call it one fourth sine to the fourth. Yes or no? No, why not? Yeah, if you took the derivative by chain rule, you'd pick up a totally different term than that, right? Um, so that's a no. Well, it's logical, but not so much. You have to try and do this in a U sub kind of idea, but not yet. When you get an odd power, always strip off a single power term from the odd power term. All right. Now, in this case, all there is is an odd power term, so that's not like it's much of a choice. So I'm going to split that into sine squared sine. So that is still not u sub it in that one's not the derivative of the other. So now, what do you reckon we should do? Yeah, you're going to use an identity now. You'll see that single term, single power, will become du. In this case, what's u? Should I go u is the whole thing, 1 minus cosine squared, or u is a little less? What's what's u? Just cosine. Okay. Therefore, du is negative sine, so you have this negative problem you need to be careful with. So when I go to substitute this, I might get something like 1 minus u squared times negative du or even better, maybe u squared minus 1 <coughs> du. You pick up that negative in there because of that derivative of sine, cosine being slightly negative. Okay, you follow? Yes? All right, in the interest of time, let's anti-differentiate and sub that. So, antiderivative of u squared is 1 third u cubed, but u goes back to Cosine. What's the antiderivative of 1? U, yeah? But U goes back to cosine. So in the end, 1 third cosine cubed minus cosine plus 6. You follow? Now, if you don't like that uh, anti differentiating and subbing back, then do it in two steps. No problem. No problem. Okay. So far, so good? All right. A little bit of a wrinkle then is if you have a Interior argument, 4x, which is what happened. Uh, what do you reckon we should still do first? Split it into cosine squared of 4x and sine of 4x. Then what? That's exactly what I meant to say. I didn't uh, just check to make sure you were paying attention. Good job. Better pay attention. All right. Cosine squared, cosine. Then what? I heard a lot of schmooze, schmooze, schmooze here. Can you give me some actual decipherable words? Uh, one minus sine squared. Excellent. See, words have meaning. Great. All right. Now we're ready to use up. Let u equal sine of 4x. Therefore, du is. For cosine of 4x dx, 
and so d over 4 x cosine of 4x squared. All right, with substitution then, the problem can be rewritten as 1 minus u squared times 1 fourth du. So 1 fourth is given to that point if you like. Anti differentiate the 1, and that is u. Do you guys anti differentiate n sub back, or no, you're doing n of t sub? Still indecipherable, okay? Antiderivative of 1 is u, which is sine. Antiderivative of u squared is? Do. Do. One third u cubed, or <laughs> sine cubed of 4x over 3, plus a c, and we did so. So far, so good? All right. Let's try it then gradually getting harder. A little harder than those is cosine to the fifth. What, you, what should we do? All right, yes. So we are going to go with cosines and sine mixture in a second, but I'll start by stripping off a single cosine. And that single cosine will be my du in a minute. Now if du is cosine, that implies du will have to all be sine, right? So now what? Sub in the identity, one minus sine squared squared. All right. Now you have two things to do. You have to u sub and you have to deal with the expansion. It doesn't matter which <coughs> order you do it. Okay. If I expand it now, then all fine. I could u sub in the next step, or I could sub now. In which case, I might have a little less writing to do because u's are easier to write than sine. So me, I'm going to sub now. U is sine of x, and du is cosine of x dx. Then the problem is 1 minus u squared quantity squared du. Now, I can't really anti-differentiate that. So the algebra I'd have to do is to expand the binomial. 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth. U. Now I'm ready to anti differentiate. The antiderivative of 1 is u, but u is sine. The antiderivative of 2u squared is 2 thirds u cubed. And I would put 2 thirds blank cubed, but instead of u, I'll put in the blank sine. And the antiderivative of u to the fourth is 1 fifth u to the fifth. But instead of u, I'll put in a sum. Hi, Paula. Okay. Um, cosine squared sine cube. Uh, it feels like oh, it's doggone close to u subby, but it really just wouldn't go well. Even if you let u equal sine, you get a squared d. It just so the best way to go is to still strip off the single sign. Now you always want to look at the odd power one. That's the one you want to target for breaking it up into a single power one because it'll have a single and then the square that's left with the identity. All right, so now I have a bit of cosine squared and sine squared. Should I make it all cosine or make it all sine? Make it all cosine. Why should I make it all cosine? That is correct. Why should I make it all cosine? Yeah, if this is your du, then your u needs to be all cosine. So that tells you that you leave the cosine squared alone and the sine squared, that's what you're going to use the identity for. So that the problem becomes more like cosine squared minus cosine to the fourth sine of x dx. Yeah? All right. So let u equal? U equal cosine. Du is 
negative sign. So we have that again, that negative thing to be careful with. Small detail that tends to lead to mistakes. With, mis with, uh, with mistakes. With substitution, I get u squared minus u to the fourth, but a negative du. Yeah. And so with a uh, little bit of using that negative inside, I get more like u to the fourth minus u squared positive du. So the antiderivative is one fifth of u to the fifth, but u is cosine. And one third u to the third, but in place of u, I spell that with cosine. All right. You good? Hardest one. It's even it's not very hard. Most people do really well things on this one. Um, this one's got two odd powers, so we have choice here. And um, with experience, you'll know which one you should definitely strip off. So let's say two odds. So let's go two odds. There might be two possibilities. And we're going to, just for the sake of learning, do a little compare and contrast. Say you strip off a single cosine. Then you'd have cosine of the fourth, sine cubed, and a cosine, yeah? What does that imply about uh, your du? So your du will be, if I did it that way, what's du going to be? du is the single powered one, and so d, and that, if I do that, du is cosine, which I would need to make all others, what? Sine. Okay. Now, that wouldn't be too bad, but I'd have 1 minus sine squared squared, and, and so that's not awesome, yeah? Because you've got this expanded by negative, you see? This one I, is, looking at this, I think I probably would have focused on the smaller powered one to strip off, and here's why. If you strip off the sine, then it will go a little easier. Sine squared sine. Now, if I strip off a single sine, then in that case, du is sine. And if du is sine, then I need to make all others cosine. Well, that actually is a little easier because sine squared is a smaller power. It's already a square. I don't have to do the squaring of an identity. It'll be better. So cosine to the fifth of 1 minus cosine squared sine of x dx. See where I'm coming from. All right. So either algebra, then sub, or you could sub now, whatever you want to do. But... Multiply it out, this would be cosine to the fifth minus cosine to the seventh sine of x dx. And we're going to let u equal what? Cosine, which means du is negative sine. So negative du is sine. So if I put things in, then instead of u to the fifth minus u to the seventh. I'm sorry, I get u to the fifth minus u to the seventh, but a negative du. The best way to go then is to take those two negatives and or you take that negative and distribute it. So you're integrating u to the seventh minus u to the fifth. Sound cool? Yes? No? Okay. So one eighth u to the eighth is one eighth of cosine to the eighth. Minus one sixth of cosine to the sixth of c. Now, your answers would actually look very different, it feels like, but they would have the same powers, and the c is really different between the two of how they can be equal. The c's are not the same. Okay, that's the it. That's it. With odd powers of trig, you strip off a single one powered trig term and u step. You got it? Okay. Test. Here we go with the test. While I am sending back the test, I'll say this. First of all, and this is the same uh, little 
uh, look ahead that I gave to the other students here. So, uh, next year, many of you, most of you will be in college, yeah? Yes? Okay, now let me, let's, let me take you a little trip into the future, okay? Next year, you'll be <coughs> in college, and chances are, as smart as you are, you're still going to probably have some questions. There are going to be times when you're having trouble, right? How in college will that work? How do you deal with those difficulties in college? Well, here's my explanation. This is why I'm going with this. Here, at this school, we have at least an hour set aside every day that you can access the teacher, yeah? And the teacher's got to be there. It's not up to them. And he's got to help you. He can't say, no, I'm too busy. He will help you. Furthermore, that teacher in the same building. That's pretty great. Next year, next year you're going to be in your dorm room. Picture your dorm room. It's all decorated, all cool, cleaner, smelly. Dorm roommate is doing their thing. But you're going to be in your jammies, and you're going to think, gosh, I need help in whatever, out three. Now, things are a little different now. First of all, you have to look up on your schedule when are their office hours. Most professors have to be in their office at least two or three hours a week. Your first hope is that, man, I hope those office hours are not during one of my classes because then I can't even get help from that professor unless I skip one of my other classes. That sucks. Okay? But furthermore, say you're lucky and your, your professor actually has office hours. Now, you have to get out of your jammies not go across the building, but go across the campus. So imagine going to Bear Creek High School to get some help from a professor and actually hoping that he's actually in his room when he says he'll be in his room and hoping that he's willing to help you when you come and not too busy on his research to help you. My point is this, not that college is terrible, it's awesome. But if you are having trouble now and you can't make yourself get help from a teacher who's not only here every day for an hour to help you, but also willing to help you an hour before school and two hours after school, four hours a day, <coughs> and access free help from somebody who's not angry to see you come from the door through the door, but giddy. I am giddy with joy to see you come from the through the door to get help. If you can't make yourself get help now, what chance do you have next year? You have none, okay? So, my point is this. Some of you are absolutely killing it. You're doing awesome. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. But if you're not doing as well as you would like, do something about it. I don't know about your other teachers, but if you're, if you're sitting there going, man, I hope he makes me up front, or I hope he calls on me, or I hope he makes me come in for help, you've got the wrong teacher, baby. I don't do that, okay? You want to suck? You'll suck. I'm not going to make you be awesome. Okay? I don't do that. I don't do that. I, I say, free algebra, I'll hold your little hand and say, come on, go ahead and come in for help. This is a college class. If you want to, if you just do not understand, you're going to not understand. I don't hold hands here. Okay? Um, that's good for you to experience that. You need to advocate for yourself. Last little thing. Okay? Um, this, okay, so you might be thinking, I doubt it, but you might be thinking, well, this education is free, so why do I care if I go? I mean, stupid thing to think, but because next year it won't be free, and they'll be wasting that money. But, okay, next year, will you be paying tens of thousands of dollars for this education? Yes, you will. And so, should you suck every bit out of the education you can? Yes, okay, so I'm saying, like, it's like going to Capitol Grill and ordering filet mignon, and it comes on the plate, and you go, oh, I'm just going to have this one piece of hair. What a freaking waste. Are you kidding me? Eat that steak like it's the best steak you've ever had. And take all the bread that's on the table and stuff it in your pockets, and take the silverware with you, okay? Get the most <laughs> out of it you can, because you paid for it, baby. You paid for it, or your parents paid for it. Get everything you can out of that education, and that's what that cost is now. You should be Bella Saturo on me, man. You should be all over me. That girl was the sweetest girl in the world, but she was all over me. I don't get this. And if 
she didn't explain it well, I still don't get it. I don't get it. She was every she, every question. I'm sorry, Miss Griffin, but she still asked it. Like she asked five questions a day. She was all over me. I'm sorry, I still don't get it. I still don't get it. That's owning your education, man. She she willed herself in any of those classes. She had no business getting in any of those classes. She was not at that ability, and she willed herself to it. She was, she's, I mean, she owned it. All right, so um, that said, like I said, I'm going to pause.